Hey guys, my name is Zediac and welcome to the airport DLC. Finally, they have dropped it. I've been excited for this for so long and I'm going to be checking this out for the very first time today in today's video. Now, for you eagle eye viewers, you might have noticed that I've kind of loaded up our really, really old series of Fishtown right now. I thought this would be the perfect place to kind of test out this airport DLC. It's a city that's already fully functional. It's already up and running. Already has a lot of people living here. But the airport that we do have in this save game is not the greatest. So I thought we'll give these guys a little bit of an extra zazz. And give these the, the first treatment of the brand new airport we're going to be building. Now, the airports that we can build, literally, you build them yourself. Well, from what I've seen, you kind of build the main building, you build all the taxiways, the runways, the stands, even the public transport leading up to the terminals too. And apparently, once you level it up enough, you can eventually go on to create your own airline company. So that is what we're pretty much going to be doing in today's video. So guys, if you're excited... I want to see more of this DLC. I want me to kind of implement all this into uh, my current save games like the Fool's Opolis and even Dead End. Then uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Smash that like button too. And um, this is the current airport that we have up and running within the uh, full, uh, Fool's Opolis in, um, in Fishtown right now. So pause the game. I've got an entry point just here for the cargo airport. We have the little train line there which I believe connects up underground uh, just to there. Uh, we have the airport here, which I actually built this one myself. This is one of those modular ones where you can kind of create your own stuff. Now I'm actually going to create my own one right now, where this comes in. So I think what I'll do is I'll connect this road. I'll connect this road to that road as like a, a kind of cut through, and then build off it and extend uh, the island. So this is actually quite exciting right now. So this is my first time playing with the uh, the actual DLC as well. I got unlimited money on to kind of help me out because I don't know how expensive it is going to be. But uh, hopefully we can create something pretty good. So first things first, I'm actually going to delete everything that we currently have right now. So, uh, hang on, do we have passenger routes over here? I'm sure we had like a, a bus route of some kind. Um, apparently no. I don't even have a bus depot. Okay, okay, fair enough. So what I'm going to do then is we'll use the moving um, mod right now. We'll select all of this, and it's all going to okay, everything but trees and props. Still selects those over there, but hey ho, and delete. It is all gone, kind of ish. Delete. We will have to get rid of the trees, but I just want to connect this road up first, and then build and check it all out. So I haven't even fully seen it. I don't know where everything is right now. So this is going to be very, very interesting for me. Um, going to bring this up and over. What's going on? What's going on, boys, with this? Are you going to raise yourself? Why are you so sunken? There we go. Boom. And boom. And now are we cooking with gas? Yes, we are. So literally going to bring it across. And straight over. No messing about. This is how we're going to get this place all set up. So keeping this elevated. Making sure it doesn't drop down like it wants to. Alright, 10. Raise it up by 5. Bridge it over. Down. Who would have thought this would have been such a pain to get done? Uh, bringing this across. Uh, I'll delete this, hit this, this. And then we'll bend it all in. So this is the start then of what we need to get done. Once I've got this connected, we are good to go. So we have the island. We have... I probably have to expand it, make it a bit bigger. Because I know you can create really ridiculously sized uh, airports right now. But we've got the island. I've got the road leading over. Uh, we're good to go. It's going to like kind of slightly break the game. you doing what I've done. Deleting all, that, all them beautiful connections. But it has to be done right now. So, uh, to create what I want to create then, uh, I believe we have our very own tab here, the airport area. And how much... Oh, 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 okay. Yo, there's a lot of buildings to check out right now. There's a lot of buildings we've got to check out. So, to begin with, we've got the stands here. We've got the small, the medium, and the large. We then have the classic airport terminal. 
uh, two story terminal and the large terminal. So there's three variations you can kind of work with. We got the air traffic control tower. We have the concourse hub. Oh, that's kind of pretty cool, isn't it? That is kind of pretty cool. We have the modern airport. Oh, oh, oh hold on. Airport terminal. Oh, wait, there's, there's two different styles of terminals here. Oh, and they have their own air traffic control tower and concourse hub. Oh, wait, there's three. Is there more? No, okay. There's three styles you get to work with. So you've got the the classic, you've got the modern, and then you've got the ultra modern right now. Right. Yo, that ultra modern building looks kind of dope, though. Oh, I don't know what to go with. I don't know what to go with. So should we go? Should we? Should I just go for this one, the ultra modern? That just sounds kind of amazing, though. It does, doesn't it? Now, if I got it hooked up there, and if I did it properly, I haven't really paid much attention to what it actually is. And I drop this bad boy down. So from the get-go, then it's got two floors, right? And it, and it had a um, a metro line too, which is interesting. Let me get rid of these flight paths. How do I get rid of these flight paths right now? Um, I don't quite know. Right, they're gonna have to stay there. They're gonna have to stay there, unfortunately. So that's kind of cool, then. So how do I? How am I gonna hook this up? That's the interesting bit right now is hooking this up. So it's two. There's, there's practically two lanes in reality, right? So bringing this down to the ground. If I just treated it as if. I don't know, like somewhere here. Um, I don't quite know how I'm going to connect it. <laughs> um, I could go there, there, there. That is very shocking, but at the same time, it kind of works. It does kind of work in a really weird way. Well, I'm getting too carried away because I don't know what I'm actually doing right now. So, I've got the building. So, that's kind of like treated like as if you're building a park or an industrial area, the main gate or the main building. And then you have to then kind of zone the area around it. So, I think what we'll do then, yeah, we got the airport area here. We'll paint this area, make it a little bit larger. Because I don't ultimately know how far I'm meant to go with it. So, I, hold on. Is that landscaping? Oh, I just realized it says landscaping cost. Wait. Oh my god. That's landscaping. Okay, that's never happened before. Wait, that doesn't happen like on an industrial area. Oh, no, we don't have an industrial area. It's Fishtown. The park area? No. Kind of makes sense because obviously you're building an airport. So you've got to make sure you've got enough land. And obviously, I assume... Oh, yeah, you were... Well, yeah, it kind of does make sense because, like, you're landscaping because you need the whole area flat so you can create the airport you need. So if I just do that for now, and I've just realized, oh, my goodness me, we're going to cause flooding. We're going to cause flooding. Right, reset to sea level. I'm resetting to sea level so many times to stop the flooding happening. But you know what this game is like, guys. You know what this game is like. There's going to be flooding. There you um, go. There's <laughs> I'll smoothen it eventually once I know how much land I actually need for this airport. But damn, this is kind of crazy. Oh, hold on. Did I not get rid of all of these? Are these, are these classes props? I believe they are. All right, let's get rid of you. This is all my um, decoration stuff that we have in the game. To make it look like a tropical island. There's just a few over here as well. Right, I think we're good. I think we're good. Anyway, let's get back to this then. So, we've got the, the, the main building set up in a way. We also have the ability to add in a control tower. And we've got this concourse hub as well. Which I think will be really kind of handy to squeeze in. Now, do I... Where, I mean, where do I pull it is the question. Like, directly here. Do I stick it out a little bit further? Maybe up here? Um, I'm going to pull it about there. See what we can kind of get from that right now. So, and then we got the, the modern control tower. So, can I put that like... 
you just connect it to the side of the building. Is that what happens? So I could connect it, for example, there. And how does all this now look? Oh, it actually snaps to the building. Because all of it says in there, when I was kind of going through it, it does say uh, they need to be placed on a concourse inside your building. So either the concourse, obviously, is the building, the main building itself, or the, the kind of thing that I've built outside of it. So it all snaps quite beautifully. I like that. I like that right now. So then we have all the hangars, but hold on. Can I? Can we view this? Airport info. So we've got to build an airport. So we've got info policies and airline. Uh... Build an aircraft stand and build a runway. Right. So let's build some stands then. So where are my stands? Are these my stands here? A uh, small parked plane. A small decorative parked plane. No. Oh no, they're at the start, aren't they? So do I go large, medium, or small is the question. I think we got to go large, right? So if I had one directly there, one directly there. I could do one there, one there. Oh, this is kind of cool. One there, one there. That is kind of cool. And I got to do some on this building too, right? Um, I mean, large or small? One, two, three, four. Okay, we'll just go with those for now. That's pretty cool. That, that is pretty cool. So I've got uh, six, seven, eight. No, I got ten stands in total. Do you think that will be? Is that too much, or do you reckon that's more than enough? I think that will be more than enough for what I'm trying to accomplish right now. So we've got that down. Uh, I got to build a runway. Okay. I've also got to do the taxiways, right? So runway. Where's the runway here? So da -da 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 runway. Um, is that a runway? It's the cargo aircraft. Hold on, where's the runway? These are all part planes. They're like decorative from what it said. Where's the runway? Um, landing. Oh, hang on. Landing area and aircraft stands. Wait, hold on. Where's the runway? Hang on, I'm confused. I'm confused. It's not a road, is it? No, there's no roads there. Um. Oh, hold on. Wait, there's the symbol there. Is ah uh, okay, okay. That's that's throwing me off slightly. So they're in the plane sick. Why don't just throw it in this? It would have made more sense. So runway and taxiway. We'll do the taxiway first. Now, taxiway. Um. I think what we'll do, we we'll try and collectively build some kind of a, a layout. So, how far? Should I bring these out so far and create a square? Oh, hang on. They're one-way roads. Hold on. Wait, if it's a one-way road, does that mean they can only come out and they can't go in? Is that what's going to happen? i got to think about this logically. I could do a circle. How would a circle look? Um, right, hold on. 12 by 12. This is going to be interesting trying to get this connected. Because they're not all perfect. But the reason I'm doing this, I I'll explain in just a moment. I'm just. I'm just the <laughs> that actually looks pretty good. So the reason I'm doing that then is I've played so much City Skylines right now to understand one raid road systems. If the game is working how I think it's working, and if I did a one way road going straight in, that means they can't leave. So by creating a big roundabout, see <laughs> see where I'm going? It means a plane can get onto this and then go in. It needs to come out, come out there, and then go round. Right, okay. Okay, so bend you that way gonna bend you in that way so in reality we need oh which way should I have made this go so flip it around that way and then kind of bend it round right 
bending it all around and they can connect to it. So if I did then a runway, let's say going up, oh, how far should I make the runway? That's 80. Do you reckon it should be a little bit more than 80? <sighs> I'm gonna now reclaim more land. Um, the game hates me, boys. I can actually bring it up to like that. The game legit hates me. So I won't press play just yet. Right, let me delete that. Oh, okay, you can't extend it either. Right, where was that point? Okay, I can't go any further because the game doesn't recognize that I've just terraformed. So if I went... Slope too steep? It's all level. But then again, I'm going to have to now kind of reset the scene. Now, taxiways. Oh! Okay, there's in... Okay. I wasn't expecting that. So if I do this system... So you're dealing with one-way routes, so you've, 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 you've got to think about this logically. That's actually a good idea to doing this. If it lands, it can go into any stand and then come out and then drive. And it, yeah, right, okay, I got it. See, I, I, I knew there was some logic somewhere. <laughs> but I wasn't expecting this. Right, so. If I can get it to kind of bend just here and connect in. And then to do the same... So, no matter what happens, they can come in, go in there. So, you're in here. You would come in this way, go in there, and then go out that way, down there. Bam. That's how it should work. Now, with these guys here, it is a little bit different. So, if I did this, they'll come down here and then straight out. But if they wanted to get over on this side... Oh, do I build another runway? Oh, dear God. Right, literally, I just spent ages trying to sort out the uh, the zoning. Right, another runway coming in. Right, again, I'm not going to be able to build it. But this runway will come this way. Oh, that's perfect. Do you know what? This airport is going to be actually pretty good. All right, play mode. <sighs> Got to wait for the freaking water to reset levels. Right, reset. I'm going to keep resetting as it happens. Reset. Realize something as well. Planes have now started to spawn around my uh, airport. I think all the resetting's now done. So I think I, I should be kind of okay. So if I ran a runway. Now, I did my last one 150. So should I do this one 150? Yeah, but not probably not. Yeah, we'll go to there. Go to there. Do the exact same thing again. So come out by 10. Run it down in a big loop. We'll do what we've done here then. So that is to kind of leave out. And that is to come in. So that's to leave out. This will be to come in. So they could they, they, that that first section there could utilize both runways in a sense. But then again, it can land here, go round. Oh no, it can't. No, no, it has to utilize that runway as well, which is fine. Diversifies the uh, the plane traffic. Now, without me doing anything additional, I, am I done? Like apart from needing power, obviously. Am I done? Um, should we use these solar panel car parks? Just real quick for some power. Oh, how am I going to give these guys power? We don't have service roads, do we, with these airports? Um, not that I can see. Should I do a quick, like, tiny little service road? Right, if I anarchy this. Do 
Let's try that again. Just there. Just so I can literally place down two of these to give it power. So, without doing anything now then, I should... Uh, oh, okay, this has changed. This has changed. Oh, okay, right. Okay, 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 okay. Right, let me pause again. So, we got our airport info. Airport level, one out of three. Attracting us, 290, which is down here. So, to get it to the next level, you've got to get 500 passengers and 200 attractiveness. We've completed the attractiveness without doing anything much yet. Uh, no weekly passengers just yet. Passenger count, 163. So, I assume there's a plane on the way back to land or there's 163 passengers ready to leave right now. I don't know. Um... Active flights, nine. Income, zero. Expect it's 11 grand already. Holy moly, this is expensive. Uh, passenger seats, used, not used. Passengers, 50% income in, 50% out go in. Uh, okay, policies, hotel discounts, great maintenance, car rentals. You can rent cars. That adds an extra two income per passenger. And then airline, obviously you need to have a level three airport by the looks of it to be able to create your own airline company. Yo, that's amazing. That's amazing right there. So we'll put it to play then. Um, wait for this power to kind of settle. And play. We, we have a plane on every stand. So does that mean we now got 10 flights? Yes. 10 flights. So, oh, oh, planes are backing up. Right, did they actually do what I want them to do? Like, he can leave directly here, but that one's got to go all the way around. Yeah, is my game slightly lagging? Oh yeah, Fishtown did lag, didn't it? Yeah, I just I just remembered Fishtown did lag. Um, but that plane's now about to go. Do I know where it's going? It's got 13 passengers on board, apparently. But off it skedaddles, it's actually using the runways like they're intended to. It's almost like this this airport was meant to work. <laughs> you know, that's what I paid for the DLC for, right? That's so cool. And what's even cooler is they all drive around in a big circle because the way we sell it all up. This dude's about to leave right now, which is a small aircraft, by the way. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Right, okay, so I'm going to keep it paused because I've still got more stuff I want to build. Um, let's check out all the additional stuff then to the airport. So we got as far as these buildings here. A uh, large terminal, the concourse, and now we've got the... Oh, wait, hold on. We had... That's a good point, actually. How do people get to here? That's what the metro connections are there for. I've got to connect the metro. Otherwise, these guys can't do anything. They can't get to point A to point B. Right, if we do a 15 by a 15 bend. 15 by a 15. And then we'll, just, we'll do it both sides. So no one can get to that, that other concourse without the public transport connection. So I'll just do that. Oh, I just realized something as well. I could have connected this up to the other metros. Do we have any passenger train lines? I don't believe we have any passenger train lines, do we? No. Because I'm bringing the train line in too. I could do a train station just there. Nah, they can drive. It will be fine. It will be fine. Um, oh, hang on. Hold on. So, I need to create a loop. Uh, metro. Bam. 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 I only do one because, you know, it's not going to be that much in demand. Uh, good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Okay. Where, where was I? Where was I? <laughs> So we've got hangars then. So increases the attractiveness of your airport by providing hangars. Hangars can be placed freely inside the airport area or snapped to taxiways. So we've got a small and a large. So they're mainly for decoration purposes, basically. But I can definitely squeeze, squeeze a couple on. So I could do a large there. And I'll do a small here. How do they look? Ooh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, okay. We then have then the budget airport hotel. A budget, um, making it like this. Okay, and then we've got the luxury hotel. And then we've got here the airport lounge. Okay, so these are the hotels. Right, okay, we should, we should create a lo like a little hotel area. So back up to normal then. Um, 
So if I connect directly off this, um, I'll pull up by 11 so we got that kind of space to utilize and work with. And I'm going to bring that kind of to there. Just create that little awkward kind of section. And then we'll build both hotels. Hang on, how big's this one? Oh, that one's huge. Okay, build you there. And then the budget one could go here on the entry. Oh, they're nice. They're real nice. So we're going to have to put water to it. We've got power. There we go. So some budget airlines on the go right now, boys. Some budget airlines. So the aircraft should now slowly start to leave all one by one. Look at them all on their way over here right now. This is amazing. They wait their turn on the taxiways, you can see, for each plane to kind of um, to go. Oh, them planes are going head to head. What's going on? What's going on? Man, I forgot how bad Fishtown lagged. I forgot how bad it lagged. <laughs> but there we go. Uh, oh, and we got this needless hangar over here. Needs a bit of water too. Sweet. So, now we've got that set of the hotels. We have the airline lounge, which is a place uh, for passengers to relax after, long fl after a long flight. Place along the concourse to increase the airport attractiveness. So... Oh, I can attach it to there, but that's going to merge within all my stands. Uh, oh, I can put it here. Okay. Easy enough. I'm liking how they just merge within the building. That's really cool, isn't it? That really is. What else have we got, by the way? Uh, aviation fuel station. Oh, that's a good one. Hang on. What does it do? Sorry. It, again, it gives attractiveness. So, so it's all attractiveness. It's not really functionality. It doesn't really add anything on that kind of front, which is quite sad. It would have been cool if you had to pay for, like, um, fueling and stuff like that. Place you down. Then we have the park planes. So then these are, again, all decorative. So these are all decorative. So I can place a couple of large ones going around here. Like that. And how do they look? It does fill the part though it does make it look like it's kind of uh, you know combined and you know meant to be a part of it which is pretty cool but it's a shame that, that that fueling thing is a decoration and it's not like something that we had to also maintain like we could earn money from the planes by buying fuel off us and stuff like that but i get it i get it we have the airbus bus station a bus station directly onto a concourse so is it attach it attaches you yeah. oh that's like if you didn't do a metro loop i could do a bus loop uh we got the elevated metro so you can do an elevated metro instead of an underground one train station again you can do trains instead of um oh i did say about putting a train line there i could do it like connecting onto there and bring trains in oh okay and we have the uh cargo airport terminal oh snap Right, okay. Okay. Um So we gotta we gotta, we gotta think about doing this right, then, haven't we? Oh snap, where do I put this? Also what's the what's the sticky out bit? It is Oh I can see it on the image. The sticky out bit is where the plane stands go against. <sighs> Here we go again, guys. Here we go again. So, if I just bulk this up a bit more. And before we go any further. Get rid of a lot of that. I'm going to do the taxiway first. So I know how much space I've truly got. So, here. It goes the opposite way around. There we go, and that if I dropped it like here, or there. Now, let's try and do it head on. So if I place that like that, this is the cargo side of it, by the way. So we've got the road where they come in, 
And then we have this back road, which I think I seen this on the uh, when they were releasing it all on Twitter and the videos. I believe this is where um, do we have a cargo? Yeah, you connect your cargo stands to. So if I can get a few coming down in a long line, or I can have them going across that way. Hmm. We also have a cargo, airport cargo train station. Hmm. Right, where are the... Oh, are they going to be roads? Um. Ah! So we got the medium. That's a wider road. Aha! Okay, okay, I get it now, I get it. So I bring that down by another 10. I could bring that. Let me select on it by another 10. So that's how you can extend those roads. Okay, I've got it. Okay, it's all coming together in my brain. So what I could do is add one stand. I could add two. So I can go for four cargo sections for now. And if I did the taxiway for them... So pretty much the same as what we've just literally done. We want to create a a looped system. So bring you up to there and in. So bring you up to there and in. And so they land. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So if you want to get into then out, they land. I'm going to bring it into there. So you can go straight down to here or in this way. Go around. But then you go that way. What's the distance between these? 15. So I don't want it to go up there for them to go this way round. I could literally do it. Oh, what I should have done. So if you land, you say you want to go to these two, you could land down, up, in, then out, out. It does make... I'm doing it like this. I'll get rid of you. Because then if you want to go here, land and out. That works. Bit awkward, but it definitely works. Right, okay. So then we've got the also... So we've got the train station, which I can bring trains in. Like I could put the building there. I'll come back to that in just a minute. We've got the Aviation Museum and we've got the Headquarters Building too, which I'll come back to those momentarily. So let me just get this all connected up. I know we have a train line. Now there's two actual stations we can use. Um, if I bring that to there, make it go underground. Because it is underground, isn't it? There we go. And then we just got to utilize that road. And I'm just connected to there like that. <laughs> and then do all the water and the power. Right, we get in there. There's a lot to do in this DLC, isn't there? There's a lot you got to micromanage and kind of sort out. I'll just throw these down for the power. So, back into... Oh, oh God, I just realised I've done all that. I haven't even reset the sea level. Right, I'm just going to keep pressing it every so often. I can't believe how much damage we've caused. I am part of the problem. When it comes to rising sea levels. That's because I keep reclaiming... 
Keep reclaiming land. Right, keep resetting to sea level. And it should all kind of subside. Are we good? No. <laughs> oh, it's a pain, isn't it, guys? It is a pain. Apparently, they complain they've got no power. I just dropped... Oh, maybe they need more power than what them two solar panels have given. Water's rising again. I'll drop it down. But is that it? Is that it at this point? Can we call it a day and you leave me alone? I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so. So this needs water just here. I mean, there's plenty of water from the rising sea levels. Uh, so I believe we need some more power then. Because it's not adequate enough. I think we're pretty much good to go. Now, all my planes have now left the airport. So you got to wait for them to eventually bring passengers back. But it's a 32,000 cell area. Um... Waiting for them to bring passengers back, I assume. We've got policies right now. I could do hotel discounts. I could do the, the maintenance. I could do rental cars. I won't do any of that just yet. I, ca I could place down one more building. Oh, no, yeah, we've got the... Oh, the museum, Aviation Museum. All right, let's get that in. And then we have the airline headquarters building. I did some spot somebody on Twitter say that... Um, if you place this down before you unlock it, your game crashes. If you've got everything all unlocked. And I do have everything all unlocked. So I won't do that just yet until I have the ability to do so. But that little museum is pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Now we do have sand around here. Which I've got to kind of get rid of. Uh, right now. Let me just pause. And I do have to kind of smoothen the old land off. So, it eventually grow back to grass. Do I smoothen it? I mean, what's it going to say if I smoothen it now? I mean, it might cause some flooding. Nah, I shouldn't cause flooding by smoothing it. Or so he says. So he says, boys. So he says. Right. I got my flooding ready just in case. It shouldn't flood. It shouldn't flood, right? <sighs> you never know in this game. You never know. I can't wait till it's all green. <laughs> I can't wait till it's all green again. Um, but we want this little bit of open space anyway. We can utilize that. Are we flooding? I'll reset this level just in case. We could do in the empty spaces there, little kind of car parks for, you know, passengers in general, but also for more planes and more hangars and stuff like that. Create like a little maintenance area and whatnot. You know, stuff like that would be pretty cool. So, we fast forward again like crazy. And now it's a case of just waiting for the planes to come back, I assume. Where are these planes? Planes? Yoo-hoo, planes! We're just going to wait. But I'm kind of excited. Also, we get to wait for the cargo planes, too. Crafting the sky right now, and it does say it's flying to the small aircraft stand. So, we should now have our first plane coming in hot and heavy, ready to land. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed it all goes to plan right now. So, can I see it? I'm zooming out. Where is it? Has it made the banking turn yet? Oh no, it's over here, it's over here, it's over here. It's coming this way around. So, which one way is it landing at then? I think it has to land at this one, doesn't it? I think that's what it's got to do. Now, it's slowly progressing when the game stops freezing right now. Damn game. Um, to make that turn. Here we go, here we go. And it's going to get ready to land. So we can see it as a small little dot right now. A small little speck in the sky. It's coming in. Hot and heavy. 
Here we go, boys. Here we go. Boom. It has landed. It looks like a little small little private jet or something like that, doesn't it? Now, how many does it have on board right now? It has on 50 passengers on board, which is going to push us, you know, our passenger count ups. We might be able to progress to level 2, possibly even level 3. I don't know how many people are, are going to want to come to this area. Oh, the vehicles are getting ready. We got the... Um, the I'm, I forget what that does right now. That kind of brings on, like, food and stuff, doesn't it? Or is that for the baggage? I can't quite remember. The stair lift comes in. I think they're a little bit ahead of their time. As in comes the airplane right now. So, do we see passengers now getting off? It did say 50 passengers, didn't it? I don't know how long you got to wait. Oh, they're going back in right now, the stair lift. So they're, they're unloading. So do we see any differences? Oh, yeah, it does. Wow, okay. We're up to 285. So we had 100% of that plane filled up right there. There's somebody just coming out now walking their dog. And there's people now coming out at the bottom. A vehicle. Some could be using it as a, like a connecting flight as well. That's something, guys, that you kind of got to think of. But uh, another plane is now just landing with 50 passengers on board. We need to look for um, the big boy planes. That's what we need to look for right now. So here is my plane line. And you got on board. It's hard to select it, isn't it? But I think there's a bigger plane over here coming in right now. So we'll wait for them to head in. Oh, we're also waiting for a cargo plane to take off too. There's lots of goods going into the cargo section. So hopefully we should see a cargo plane. But there comes our second one. Oh, there's a lot of people now leaving. Nice. Guys, my airport actually works. leaving this the airport. But that's not because a plane landed. But is this our first cargo plane? Oh my goodness me, it is. Our first cargo plane's here, guys. Our first cargo plane. I really wish this game wasn't lagging so bad. <laughs> I, I, I literally, I forgot how bad Fishtown lagged. If I realized this earlier on, I wouldn't have loaded into Fishtown. <laughs> but still, this is, you know, one of the reasons we had kind of ended this series. But anyway, um, plane coming in. So it's just going to be interesting to see how this... Oh! I think it's going to a star, an, an, a level. Oh, we're now level two. Let's go. Let's go, boys. We've got 12 active, 13 active flights, by the way. That's what's going down right now. Over 500 people now, at, well, using the airport, basically. Another plane coming in hot and heavy. Good to see. So it's nice to know that the cargo airplanes do work. Now, do we see it load up? Oh, that's interesting. So, because we've got this in directly from plane, we see it then drive to train terminal. These are coming out this way. They could be heading back to the plane. Oh, hang on. They drive through the building to here. Wait, hang on. Hold on. Oh, I see what's happening. A lot of the out of region traffic is coming in here and sending it on the train because it's quicker than driving through the whole city. Okay, I see what's happening there. I see what's happening there. But how cool is this right now? Now, I can see it's going to take a while to get 5,000 passengers to be able to um, create our own airline company. But if that's something that you guys want to see in the future, let me know in the comment section down below. But until next time, I will see you all soon. So, good.